Hey guys, this is David Wunderlich, and I'm going to do one more video on Florida's win over Charleston Southern. Now, after the game, Dan Mullen said that Felipe Franks played a very good game, and he only missed one read the entire game. There were some other plays where reasonable people could disagree about what the proper read was, and, and maybe Mullen might have done a different read than Franks, but those were ultimately fine. There was only one play with a bad read, and I think it was this one. This is... On the second drive of the game, Florida's up 7-0. Florida is using this as a max protect because you've got the five linemen here and then the tight ends are both going to block. And uh, Jordan Scarlett is doing a play fake. He is also going to block. And so there are only two guys going out for a pattern. Van Jefferson is going to go out and end up in the middle of the field. Tyree Cleveland is going to go out and come across the way. And you may remember this is the play where Felipe Franks basically threw it almost as far as he could to Van Jefferson going down the field. And now as we run this play, let's just look at it as it happened first. Take the play action. Franks is looking, 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 fires it way above the camera because he throws it that far. And here's Van Jefferson. It gets knocked away. Now, obviously, you can see here the defender had his arm hooked around Jefferson. I'm not really going to worry about that too much because Florida won this game big. There's no point in complaining about the refs. What I would complain about here is that there are one, two, three defenders here. Now Jefferson is faster than these guys. This guy could keep up though. That's why I think this may not have been the correct read because Franks is basically throwing in a triple coverage. Obviously they were closer to Jefferson at the time that Franks was throwing the ball. Of course, he could see that Jefferson's faster, but it was triple coverage, basically, that he was throwing into. Now, if we run it back a little bit, here's the situation as Franks is throwing the ball. We've got three guys taking care of that defensive lineman. Buchanan has this guy taken care of. We got one-on-one -on -one here and a double team down here. The four guys who actually rush the passer are all well in hand, and Jordan Scarlett is here. He could enhance this block if need be, or he can go out and be a lead blocker for Franks. And so rather than throwing it deep on a very low percentage kind of throw into triple coverage, I think the better read would have been for Franks to just take off this way and follow Jordan Scarlett as he either blocks here or goes and blocks other guys up the field. Because again, go forward a little bit, and you see here are the next closest defenders besides those four linemen. They are way deep down the field. There's nothing but green grass in front of Felipe Franks for a good 15 to 20 yards. I mean, look at that. There's just tons of space. And the current situation is second and five. Maybe he was told before the play, just launch it deep to Jefferson because we're going to take a shot down the field to make future opponents worry about taking shots down the field. But in this particular situation, I think the better play would have been to take the easy yards, just scramble a bit, get 10, 15 yards, and call it a day. That is why I think this was the one bad read for Franks all game. Dan Mullen didn't specify in his post-game press conference which was the bad read, so it could have been a different play, but this is certainly one play where Franks did not do the best thing he could have. And again, maybe he just took a shot because it's Charleston Southern, but in a future game, if they do something like this again, the better play is not to throw it deep into triple coverage, but actually to just take off and get the easy yards.